Ah, good evening, viewers. Tonight finds us in a rather unique setting, nature's own studio, the great Colorado wilderness. The glow of this campfire, however, is a touch bittersweet, for it serves as both my companion and my confessor as I impart to you that tonight's installment of The Adult Potato is the last one I shall be hosting. I will be setting out on my own as a voice actor. You may have heard my voice here and there already. Expect to hear me in advertising, podcasts, and promotional videos. It's a big change, but something I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's been an enchanting journey, chronicling the ordinary yet extraordinary lives of the good people of Wellington, Colorado. Fiona, Trish, Pepper, Claudia, and Carlos. Names that I've been honored to share both the screen and my life with. Each of you has brought a light as vibrant as this fire to my daily grind. A light I shall forever hold dear. Life, as they say, is an incessant adventure, ever-changing, ever-challenging. And though I am eager to explore the unknown terrains that await me, it is without a doubt that the pinnacle of my journey was spent with you, my dear co-workers, and our loyal viewers, pontificating upon the myriad tales that weave the very fabric of Wellington. But let us not kid ourselves. It has not been all sunshine and roses. Ah, the political intrigue, those endless battles of rhetoric and ego. That part I shall not miss. Nature here offers a rather comforting antithesis, a peaceful isolation that lets one hear one's own thoughts rather than the constant chatter of duplicitous motives. So as I bask in this final Colorado twilight that serves as the backdrop to my farewell, my heart swells with both sorrow and gratitude. The chapter of The Adult Potato may be concluding, but its story, our story, will persist. Alive in memory, alive in spirit. And now, my dear friends, it is time for me to sign off one last time. Fare you well and continue to lock those doors.